Hi, and welcome to Always Dolls. Today, we are crafting a version of American Girl's Chinese takeout set. In this tutorial, we show how to make the takeout box, delivery bag, rice, sesame chicken, fortune cookies, soda drink, and chopsticks. We also have a bonus viewer requested craft to make egg rolls. We have a lot going on in this video, so let's get making. Start by searching the net for Chinese takeout box templates. Select one that you like, then simply right click and copy the image into a Word document. Using the format tool, bring the image in front of text so it can be resized to better suit the one quarter scale of our AG dolls. A tip, printing the box image onto white poster board makes it sturdier and hold up better during play. Our final measurements were 6 cm wide on the broader side by 6.5 high and 3.5 cm wide on the narrow side wall. Next, cut it out, taking extra care around the hook section that will close up the box. With an X-Acto blade, carefully cut the J-shaped slit. Pre-fold the bottom side tabs and top lid flaps. Then apply glue to the tabs. We chose double sided tape. Now seal all four sides of the box. This is how it looks so far. Okay. Let's use air dry clay to make the food items from the set. Take a ball of white clay and gently press it into a square shape 3 by 3 centimeters. Use a flat non-stick tool like a plastic ruler. For the individual grains of rice, take tiny pinches of white clay and roll it on your surface to make an oblong shape. While the clay is tacky, start clumping the grains of rice together to make a square big enough to cover the block we made earlier. Place it on top. Now continue rolling grains of rice to cover all four sides of the block. Moving on to the sesame chicken. Take a ball of brown clay and make large cylinders about the size of those yummy gourmet jelly beans. Arrange them to make a block 3 by 3 centimeters. Try varying how each piece of chicken is laid so it looks more natural. To texture, we used a hard bristled paintbrush. Following this, roll teeny tiny oblongs for the sesame seeds. To help everything stick, give the clay a light misting of water before placing the sesame seeds on top. Let your piece dry overnight. Because it is air dry clay, the pieces may shrink up to 10% depending on the brand. To make these adorable fortune cookies, roll out a ball of tan air dry clay. To cut the circles, we are using the lid from a lunchbox juice bottle. It's optional, but if you'd like to add a fortune inside, prepare a thin strip of non-stick paper, fold it in half and place it above the centre line of the clay circle as shown. Now fold the cookie in half and pinch the very top closed. Turn the cookie and position the narrow tip of a paintbrush in the middle of the base. Simultaneously push inwards with the brush while curling the ends of the cookie together with your fingers. You now have the shape of a fortune cookie. Make many more. We packaged our fortune cookies in a small plastic baggie that we got in a pack of 50 at the dollar store. We made the sparkling water drink in the same way as the soda cans from Joss's Surf Bus Accessory 1 video. Click the, top, the card on the top right to watch. Here we have masked off the center with washi tape before painting top and bottom a bright blue. When dry, peel off the tape and add white dots with a gel pen. Using a blue marker, add the words an iconic AG star. To add more detail, visit American Girl Ideas blog for the tin can printables. A link will be in the description box below. Cut two and glue them to the top and bottom of the can. Finish off by painting the rim silver. For the chopsticks, we made ours from a scrap piece of balsa wood. 
use an X-Acto blade or Stanley knife to cut a thin strip 5mm wide by 9cm long. For a tapered tip, angle your blade and cut away a slither of balsa wood, stopping 3cm from the base of the stick. We thought the thick plastic loops from this clear girl's bangle would be perfect for doll grips. Cut off two and adhere to the chopsticks with hot glue, three centimetres from the base. Okay, we are nearly there. Let's keep going and make the takeout bag. We recycled a brown paper lunch bag for this. Cut out a rectangle. You can pause the screen for dimensions. Again, pre-fold all the sides and tabs. Flip the bag over and apply glue to the two longer tabs and the side left tab. Join the bag together as shown. Following this, fold in the two shorter tabs, then seal the bottom closed with the two larger flaps. Carefully coax the bag to fold flat by pressing the sides inwards and flattening the bottom upwards. You can stop here or go all out. Draw on the AG graphics. We sketched the design in pencil first, then filled in the banner and around the fortune cookie using a white paint pen. A white coloured pencil would also work well on brown paper. Switching to a white gel pen, write in the AG logo and text lines. Next, take a black fine tipped pen and outline the banner and around the fortune cookie. Use a red marker for the Chinese block letters and to highlight over the outside edge of the white globe. Finally, saturate the cookie image with a yellow marker to give the paper some subtle difference. Package all your dishes up into their boxes and it's ready for delivery to the doll's door. Bonus craft! To make egg rolls, roll out a thin sheet of dough coloured air dry clay. Cut squares three by three centimetres. We used a Play-Doh cutting tool. With one corner facing you, fold up the bottom, then fold in the left and right sides. It should look like a mini envelope. Now, gently roll up the clay to seal the egg roll. Again, texture all over using a hard bristled paintbrush. To shade the roll, use a small amount of watered down golden brown paint. Apply a second coat of the same colour to deepen the egg roll, but allow some areas to be the lighter shade, as seen on screen. Finish with a darker chocolate brown colour to paint on the ends and over the folds. Package in a little pocket bag made from vellum paper and you're done! Now the dolls have a variety of fresh, hot and super yummy Chinese dishes ready to eat. Shelly's favourite are the fortune cookies. What's your favourite Chinese meal? Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to Always Dolls for more miniature crafting fun.